dollars. That's still a healthy market. We are still seeing an increase in values. We've not seen a decline at this point, and we are still seeing a lack of inventory. So we only have about two months of inventory, and we've talked on this show before, but that means it is still a seller's market. And I will tell you, we still have buyers who want to be in homes. So if you're on the fence and you want to talk to someone about whether or not now is the time for you, because it's not for every single person, and we recognize that, we want to get you into our office to visit about is it right for you. Um, and we'll go through all that data with you. You can also know that the average sold price was 97% of list. Now that means some houses, of course, they're still selling at or above list price. We're still seeing that in our market today. But then there are some that are selling a little bit underneath the market at 97%. Last month we sold about 329 houses. That's still about where we were last year at this time and then average days on market, 67 days. So I have people saying, okay, Dana, are we headed for a repeat of 2008 and the real estate market crash? And I'm gonna tell you, no. So I don't know if you guys remember, but in 2008, we had um, the crash because there was a lot of cheap debt out there. Uh, in many portions of the United States, people were getting interest-only loans because their values were increasing so rapidly, they weren't paying anything toward their principal. The challenge then was that they weren't building equity in their homes, and that's when we saw a huge bubble burst in other parts of the nation. Now, in Southeast Texas, we did see a little bit of a dip in that time period. We saw some prices drop in value, but not near the magnitude that we saw in other parts of the United States. So now what we're seeing is there are, it's far more um, just critical in the mortgage industry that they are only lending to those who can truly afford it. That wasn't the case in the past. Uh, we used to say it was a, a mirror check. If you put a mirror underneath their chin and, and it fogged up, they, they were letting them get a loan. Well, that's not the case any longer. Um, there are stricter laws in place as to how to get a mortgage, and so we are finding that that has helped us in the long run. We've also seen lots of increase in our prices here so that you've built equity into your home. So not every recession is a housing crisis. If you're looking to buy or sell or invest or flip, you need to silence the naysayers. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the statistics and find an agent who can help you make an informed decision. That's what you need. Now, another question that's been asked is what about those interest rates? While we've seen them go up just a hair, um, they are still at historic lows. Do you know that since 1971, we did an average of the interest rate, and the average from 1971 to today was 7.77%. We are still well below average. Now, is a home gonna cost you a little bit more with a little bit higher interest rate than it was a year ago? Yes, but are you still able to get into a home and have the independence of having a home that's your own? And what can you do with that home? Anything you want. You can paint it whatever color you want. You can put whatever landscaping you want. And you can call Kendall Barrow with Safe Property Experts to come in and put in um, a security system and all kinds of wonderful things for you. So I'm going to introduce Kendall and let him talk a little bit about himself. And then in our next segment, we're going to talk about his business and what he does. So Kendall, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah. I definitely appreciate it. Um, you know, uh, first and foremost, just want to say thank you for, for the information that you give. Because, you know, as I can tell you about seven, eight years ago as a new homeowner uh, and a home buyer, that stuff is so important yeah. um, to kind of put yourself in the right position to make the right, you know, decision. Because this is a 20, 30, 40 year um, decision. For most people, you're exactly right. And uh, I'm going to let everyone know that um, I just met you for the first time. I know who you are. I know about your business. But how I know you is from your why your beautiful, lovely, wonderful wife. Yes, thank you so much for uh, <laughs> filling in all the adjectives I needed to. Yeah, and she is actually, you know, when you're in real estate, if, if 
you are um, selling, you are in what's called an MLS system. It's a multiple listing system where every agent goes in and we're actually able to collaborate with other agents in selling each other's homes. Well, your wife Katie is a huge part of that system. She helps to run all of the MLS information and she is a wealth of knowledge and I call her all the time saying, Katie, I need help. And she's always so gracious to, to assist me. But anyway, that's how I um, got connected with you because I know Katie. And so I know you also have a beautiful family as well. Yes, yes. And again, thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, my wife, Katie, um, obviously we've been married uh, going on eight years now um, in September. And uh, we have three children, um, you know, uh, that is the, you know, it's, it's always been told to me, it's your heart running outside your body. That's exactly what it is, um, you know, four, seven, and 14. So, you know, we've got a nice spread. And, um, but it, it is, it's why I do what I do. Um, because, you know, the same thing that goes for my house should go for any other household. If I want to protect my family, I believe that, you know, any and other, uh, every other family should have that same opportunity to protect them the smart way. And, you know, with Safe Property Experts, that is our tagline, that is our, uh, you know, keeping you safe the smart way, because I, I truly believe that there's so many variables in this business, in this industry. Yeah. There's so many products, there's so many companies that it can get really confusing. And so the biggest thing that we do at Safe Property Experts is to help you and to give you the correct um, advice to not only make this a simple process, but to make it a, an efficient process process because as you know you can have four or five devices 15 apps you know uh, it, it's a myriad of different things and what we want to do is keep it simple stupid kind of idea I love that. make it easy yeah I love that and, and you know Kendall what I also love is that you're local um, right. it's not like you're um, from New York trying to help someone get um, a, a security system so you've lived here I think you said for my your, entire life your entire life I grew up in Anilak, uh, you know graduated from East Chambers um, and so I've grown up in Southeast Texas my entire life and uh, so you know home is home and this is why another reason where uh, when I decided, okay, where do where is this business? Because you could easily go to a Houston area and uh, you know type market where there's there's so much opportunity, but there's so much opportunity here in Southeast Texas, and more importantly, these are the people I care about. You know, these are the communities and the people that I deal with, and so if I'm going to help someone, I'm going to help a neighbor yeah. type idea. I love that, and that's why I love having local people on the show. I um, and, and I love when it's people who've been here forever and ever. You know, when you're in a business and you're running into the grocery store and you're running into your clients and your customers, and, and you know you can greet them with a smile and not have to dodge them because the product that you're yes. offering is a great product. And so I also love that knowing that you're local, I can come find you. <laughs> Not only can you come find me, I'm a phone call, I'm an email yeah. away. You know, um, I, I just said this to a customer yesterday. Look, as long as it's not two in the morning and one of the kids gets woke up, I'm okay. Call <laughs> yeah. me and I'm a resource. You know, yeah. I, I'm more than happy to answer simple questions. I have people that call me all the time with, uh, you know, all kinds of things. And, and, and if I can help, I'll help. Yeah, and customer service is the number one thing. I mean, if you have a business, that's the thing that you have to have. You have to be able to be available and be able to respond. So I'm really excited to learn more about what you do and how you do it. So when we come back, don't go away. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to Kendall about his product and what he offers. This is the Dana Simmons Show.
Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons, and we are joined here today with Kendall Barrow of Safe Property Experts. You know, we come to you every Saturday at noon, and we have some exciting news for July. When um, COVID hit and people were required to stay in their homes, we had to kind of adjust what we did and how we did it. And we did live open house events where you could go on Facebook Live and see our open houses. Well, we have had so many requests to bring that back and people love them. So what we're doing is every Saturday in July for the rest of the month, we're gonna have our live open houses back. So on this coming Saturday, we are actually gonna be at the Reserve. The Reserve is a new subdivision. Um, it is Hardin Jefferson School District. It is right off 105 and Rains Road. Um, and those lots are almost an acre deep and wide. Almost an acre. <laughs> so those are amazing lots that if you're thinking about building a house, that's a location you're gonna want. You're gonna to wanna to go out there and take a peek at those. We're gonna have Kona Ice out there giving out free snow cones next Saturday, noon to one. Um, and we'd love for you to join us out there. So if you want, join us on Facebook Live and we're gonna to tour it, but you can also head out there and get your free snow cone and take a peek at that subdivision. You're gonna love it, it is amazing. Um, we're gonna get back to Kendall Barrow and he was talking to us about safe property experts and he's gonna give us some information about what we need to know about home security. But first, I wanted to find out, tell me what made you get into this career choice in this company? So years ago, actually um, working while working for uh, the station, KLVI, um, I was also doing part-time. I've had family in this business for 20 plus years. Yeah. And um, I would you know, always ask questions. You know, I'm a big learner, so I, I just wanted to know stuff. You know, equipment would show up at our house, and you know, I was, hey, what is this? What is it for? Um, and so, long story long, is that that's what ended up happening. Is as I kind of uh, navigated the the job market, um, the expertise that you learn in this field. Number one, it's a it's a huge need. Um, Security is not going anywhere, right. um, and it's only advancing, right? Um, and especially like you just mentioned in the pandemic, we uh, studies have shown that, you know, the usage of smart devices during that time went up about 60 percent mm -hmm. in the United States because it's just out of ease or convenience and security and necessity too. and necessity. Yeah. Um, and that's where we're getting to now where these homes are. It, it, it is in the capabilities. We can talk about that a little more later, but the capabilities for these systems go way beyond just convenience, you know. Um, but. As far as uh, the history of safe property experts, about two years ago or so, I was uh, a technician for another company, a big company, and uh, the company went under, and it just, you know, so I lost my job, and it put me in a position to say, okay, what, you know, do you want to go work for another company, and the long and short of it is pretty simple, is that there's not a lot of options here in Southeast Texas when it comes to this, whereas out of the Houston market, where I was previously working, your options are limitless. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the, I, I saw a big issue with that. There's not enough competition in this area. Um, and then secondly, there's not a, a local enough local presence in this. Um, you're talking about a lot of companies that are typically based out of state that are national based companies and I'm not knocking them, but again, you want a local presence that you can lean on mm -hmm. in, in times of need, uh, especially if your security system isn't working or something like that, that is very important to have. So that is what uh, really got me down the road to say, okay, look, you need to, to offer something for Southeast Texas. Um, you know, that old adage of, you know, made by Southeast Texans for Southeast Texans. And that was what Safe Property Experts really started with. The other big piece about this is the expertise in the education. In this industry, there's a massive lack of education for the customers. And so people go in kind of blind, you know, Googling what's the best and trying to piece this stuff together. And now with the emergence of DIY systems, that's only gotten worse. And um, there's a lot of benefits and negatives to, to that. You know, I'm not, again, there's, there's a lot of um, two sides to the same coin with this. But at the end of the day, you want to know, is it professionally installed? Uh, is, is it safe? Because there are cases where DIY systems can be taken over by another party. And that's the kind of stuff you want to make sure, can that happen to me? Well, no, not when you're with a professional um, company that knows what they're doing. They're licensed by the state. You know, and then that's one of the other last aspects of this is that, um, especially the state of Texas, is now starting to come down a lot more, and I'm very thankful for that. Uh, in this industry, you know, we're going into people's homes. It is a very personal type service that we offer. And so you want to make sure that whoever's showing up at your door 
has gone through the proper background checks, has gone through everything that they need to go through. And with Safe Property Experts, again, in the state of Texas, we make sure that, again, everyone is licensed um, in every aspect, whether it's sales and installation. Uh, they, they pass proper background checks, all of the, the necessary requirements. But then above that, we want to make sure that they give the customer service because that is the last piece of, of me personally that I've seen in these industries that it's almost dead. Customer service really is when it comes to bigger companies. And that's a shame. And so with us, we focus truly on what do you want? What are you trying to accomplish? And how can we do that in a smart way? Yeah, I um, just want to say yes to everything you just said. Um, and I'll say personally, we bought into that um, system that you can get on your own and install yourself. And let me say, we have had significant challenges. And while it may work fine for some people, personally, we have seen um, over and over that it hasn't performed the way that we intended for it to perform, that we hoped it would perform. So um, even as a customer out there looking, you, you think you're saving money, and, and it's, it's really interesting. I should know better. Um, so often you get what you're paying for. And um, for us, uh, you know, sometimes you have to learn the hard way. You learn by spending twice. That's right. Uh, you, you do it with the, the one that um, is easier and cheaper, and you think, you, oh, we can do it. It's not that big of a deal until it's a big deal. And then the, the coming behind that to then fix it can be an even bigger deal. So you're right. You are. Uh, that's one of the biggest things as well, because uh, one of the things I mentioned before, which is such a, a big um, issue and also a positive in some regards, is that there are so many places you can go uh, to get this the, these equipment. You know, you can go to a professional company. You can go to Amazon and there's going to be plenty of stuff there for you. Um, can these systems work for you? Absolutely. You, you know, the, these DIY systems do work for for folks all the time. Um, it, it's a matter of, again, making the correct decision that's going to benefit you long-term because one of the biggest things that we do as safe property experts is we're going to see what's your expectation. How do you think this is going to work? And then we try to tell you, okay, this is how it actually works. Because when you come down and just to give an example, cameras is one of the so many variables with cameras. You've got motion based 24 seven recording battery operated, you know, powered. There's so many variables when it comes to this, and I see this all the time, where, uh, in fact, my wife and, and the board uh, said, you know, we need some cameras, but you know, we, we've got to do it as cheap as possible. And, and, and I understand that. Yeah. We're all in that same boat, especially nowadays. And But what they found out is, again, they're spending twice as much. Uh, the cameras don't are online or whatever the issues are half the time because you get what you pay for. Uh, and you also get the service you pay for. The DIY companies aren't going to show up. It, it, they don't have anyone. And in fact, I can tell you because I'm certified with some of these companies, I'm going to be the one that they send, that they contract out to come fix it for you mm -hmm. because they don't have a local presence. Mm -hmm. So there's the negative with that. Uh, the positive, again, is it can save you some money depending on if you get your usage out of it or not. Yeah. With Safe Property Experts, we will uh, you know, come give you a free quote. That's never a problem. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're in Jasper, Brooklyn, whatever. We can come out there and give you a quote. So you service all of Southeast Texas within about an hour of Beaumont or so? It, it, sometimes even, even further. further. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, we'll go all the way, you know, Texas, Louisiana border to, you know, Baytown, Mont Bellevue uh, areas. About the furthest west we go. But, I mean, not you know, we go up to the lake areas, Livingston, all of that, it, you know. Um, which is also another thing to, to consider because when you're looking at systems, um, especially in the area you live, especially in some of the remote areas in Southeast Texas, you're going to find about two or three folks. And so, you know, you can find us on Facebook, SPE Southeast Texas. Just search Safe Property Experts, um, alarm.com slash US slash Safe Property Experts. That's our website. There's plenty of places to get a hold of us. Um, the phone number 409-267-1859. That is my personal cell phone. I have no problem giving that out because, again, I, I, I want to be the resource for you. Even if it's a question of, we already have X, Y, and Z, is there something you can do? Right, right. Of course. Well, we're, we want to post your information on our Facebook Live. Um, if I can't do it right now while we're talking, I'm going to do it <laughs> after the fact. Um, but when we come back, we're going to talk to Kendall about, okay, I'm thinking I want to do this. What are my next steps? So if you have any questions, please give us a call, 409-896-KLBI. He's here live in the studio and ready to answer those questions for you. So don't go away. We're going to talk to him in the next um, segment about how that looks if you're thinking about doing that.
This is the Dana Simmons Show. Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons. Um, I am with Dana Simmons Real Estate and the Dana Simmons Show. I have Kendall Darrow with Safe Property Experts here with me today. Um, we talked about last segment that every Saturday we do our radio show noon to one. And in July, for the rest of July, we're going to have our live open house events. Um, every Saturday from noon to one. And next Saturday, we'll be out at the reserve and have a Kona ice truck out there. So come out and get snow cones. But we're also um, doing a back to school drive all of July. Uh, we know with so many families feeling the impact of high gas prices and the cost of living rises, um, for many people, it's a challenge. And we want to give back. So from July 9th to July 30th, we're going to be hosting a back to school drive and so from 8 a.m to 5 p.m you can drop off those donations monday through friday at our office um, and then we're going to have a list of places that we're going to distribute those to you can watch our facebook um, and find the information there and we're also going to post that information on our website danasimmonsrealestate.com we also have a monthly newsletter with a lot of this information going out. If you want to get our newsletter, which talks about all kinds of things with the market, uh, we also can get you our vendors list if you need to know uh, who to contact for what services, you can go to our 
website and you can find to a, the, the little tab that says to sign up for our newsletter and put your information in there and every month we will be shooting out um, a new newsletter that gives you really good information and all kinds of fun stuff as well. Um, so Kendall, Kendall Barrow with Safe Property Experts. We were talking in our last segment um, about um, the systems that he provides. And what I want to know, even as a homeowner, I'm thinking about you know getting another system in my home. Um, I have one of those that we self-installed and we already know it's not doing what I want it to do. So I want you to come to my house. What does that look like at that point? How do you evaluate? What do you do? What are the next steps? So the very first one, obviously, uh, get on site, get, get to the location um, and meet and greet you. And uh, we'll, we'll really look at the very first thing um, is what do you have current, right? And so in your situation, right, we have a system that's already there, which kind of gives me a foundation or a basis to work with of, okay, I can kind of already see based on the sensors or however the system is designed that this is what you were trying to accomplish. But more importantly, we don't just assume that. We're going to ask, okay, I can see, you know, we've got the sensors here and this and this, so this is the main area of protection and, and vice versa. We go throughout the, uh, what I call a walkthrough and kind of just, the easiest way I can say is we start from the front door and kind of just work our way around. And we want to look at points of entry, points of concern, things like that and say, okay, what is the best way to do this? And then it's really about uh, tailoring each system to do what you want and, and, and how you expect it to act. For example, motion detectors are kind of a basis of every single system, but what a lot of people you know, uh, need to understand about that is it's, those sensors are typically meant to be a kind of a backup, mm -hmm. meaning that something should have already gone off right. and then the motion goes off to then verify someone's got to be in there. Yeah. Now, the downside is that the number one uh, reason for false uh, alarms is a motion detector. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, there are situations, pets and kids and various things like at my house, I don't have a motion detector. I can't. There's no way. The cat would set it off. Right. Um, and so just little things like that, little nuances like that are important to know your lifestyle. You know, uh, do you travel a lot? Uh, are you gone often? Are you home all the time? Um, these types of things, because what studies show is typically women are more uh, uh, focused on the security and the protection of the home and the individuals. Not that the men aren't, but typically the men are more focused on energy efficient devices and things that can save us money. Mm -hmm. And so there's a way to accomplish both of those for both parties and to get and to make everyone happy. But in order to do that, we've got to make sure that everyone's on the same page. And that can be an issue sometimes because again, there's, there's those that say, look, you know, I don't need sensors on everything or, you know, so that's the first step. Make sure that in the home, you know what you want and you're on the same page. So what I hear is personalization. You don't try to fit everyone into the same box and say this is what everyone needs. So you listen to what their lifestyle is like, what they want to accomplish, and then you assess and then go from there. Yes, ma'am. As a technician for years, one of the biggest things that I saw is that uh, a lot of the other companies have a set package or packages that they will offer and then we can tailor it a little bit to each person but really you all got to start at the same place mm -hmm. not everyone's at the same place not every home is at the same place not everyone's trying to accomplish the same thing there are folks who just want cameras they don't care about the security there are folks that want security not cameras um, and with other companies i worked with that was never an option it was you take this to get this or leave this mm -hmm. um, with us that's absolutely not the case um, and that's one of the biggest aspects is the personalization, the tailoring to say, okay, look, you really don't need or you feel the need for the security, but you definitely want the cameras. We can accomplish that. No problem. Right. One of the other biggest aspects is integration. And what I mean by that is how many different things can I get onto one app? Because at the end of the day, uh, even as, with other companies, we would install devices where, unfortunately, we'd have to put two or three apps on your phone to be able to work this entire system. And that really, truly, in my opinion, defeats the purpose. Because what you're wanting to do as an owner is just press a button and just not have to think about it again. Mm -hmm. You said at the beginning, keep it simple. That's it. Yeah. And that's what we do. And again, with Safe Property Experts, it is as uh, encompassing as you want the system to be to as, 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 you know, I just want a doorbell camera. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We can do that. Um, but it can also grow to have security, cameras, light switches, thermostats, speakers, uh, water valves. That's another thing that, especially in Southeast Texas, people don't think about a lot. It automatically can shut the water off to your home if you have a flood or a busted pipe or anything like that. 
there's so many devices out there. And so what I get most of the time when we're starting these walkthroughs is, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and that's a lot of items that I had no idea you covered as well. So other than just the security, you also have protection from water damage and a lot of the other things as well. Yes, ma'am. Um, you know, from smart locks, thermostats, uh, uh, water valves, irrigation control, sprinkler systems. I mean, it, it gets, like I said, it can you can get this to where you could literally control every aspect of your home with a touch of a button. And it's all on your phone. It's so all on your phone. So you're out of town you need to do any of that you just go to your app and you can control it from there absolutely you could be in europe it's not going to matter yeah you could be anywhere well one of the things that we were talking about earlier too is that the ideal time to have this installed is really if you're building yes and so many people who are doing a custom home often they don't think about this as part of what they want to do initially. So talk about how this really benefits someone who's thinking about building. The, the numbers show that the vast majority of people um, get security systems either once they've moved in, it's kind of like one of the very, it's like internet security. You know, it's a, it's a very important aspect. Um, and, and my biggest thing is trying to urge people to get it before that step. And, and the reason being is the system design. For example, hardwired cameras, which are the best way to go, um, would almost require you to do that during the build because there's going to be walls you can't get through. There's going to be there's going to be all kinds of variables. And so the best way to do it, um, because there's many a times I show up at a house that's already constructed and someone's moved in and said, I want cameras here, 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 and here. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. There's no way to get a wire or whatever it is to this point. That's not an issue when you're building. Right. You you design that to say, I know I'm going to want cameras here. I know I'm going to want, and then it, it can even get better to the point of, uh, typically what I do on a on a build like a uh, custom home is say you wanted four cameras. Well, I'm going to run eight wires in various places to where if you ever needed to add cameras, the wires are there. The hard part's done. You just need the cameras. And so that system then takes a lot of cost, a lot of labor, a lot of that out of that uh, process. So that you can grow the system should you decide to do that at a later date, Correct. everything's already there. Yes, ma'am. Um, one of the other things that we were talking about was um, the, the draw on the internet and that sometimes what, what you do facilitates that. And I can't speak that language, so <laughs> I'll, I'll let you talk about that. <coughs> Excuse me. And yes, ma'am. Um, so that's one of the other things about Safe Property Experts is we're not just security cameras and smart products, you know. Um, now, we're not necessarily an IT company either, uh, but we know just enough to be dangerous. And so uh, the one of the biggest aspects is, yeah, cameras and a lot of these other things do require you to have a good internet service. Um, and that can be throughout the home. So one of the things that we have to look at when dealing with the internet situation, again, is the easiest analogy I always make is it's a highway. Your highway can get congested just like I-10. If you've ever driven it, we all know that when construction happens, it's, it's a nightmare. Right. That's the same concept. When, when I walk into a home, I just have an automatic assumption that whatever devices I'm installing are going to be competing against all kinds of other devices, cell phones, tablets, smart TVs. All of these things are now on our network, um, which then adds another facet of security, which we can talk about as well. But to, to really boil this down is that you want to know that, number one, when you get a hardwired system, it's, it's alleviating that traffic. Mm -hmm. It's not on the Wi-Fi, it's not competing, and it is a more secure, reliable way to have a good quality camera feed is to hardwire it. Mm -hmm. It is a harder way to do it, wireless is easy. Um, but at the same time, it, it's, it's the best way to do it, it's the professional way to do it. And so when we have these closed circuit or CCTV systems or hardwired systems, it's taking a lot of the traffic and basically diverting it to a feeder road and mm -hmm. saying now your Wi-Fi won't have near as much competition because the number one thing dragging on your internet is going to be smart TVs and Netflix and all that and then any type of video data. Right. So it, it, it's, it's, it's about, again, doing it the smart way. Yeah, yeah, that makes complete sense. Well, um, when we come back, we're going to talk to Kendall more about some other things that he can offer. Um, I'm going to give you a hint, Airbnb. So um, don't go away. This is Dana Simmons with The Dana Simmons Show.
Welcome back. This is Dana Simmons, and I'm joined by Kendall Barrow with Safe Property Experts, and we've been talking about all things security with your home. Whether you are building a new home or you have an existing home, he's given us some great information um, to be able to give you uh, an idea of what you may need. And if you need to speak to him, um, go ahead, Kendall, and give them your contact information where they can contact you personally to get any of that information that they need. You can reach me locally at 409-267-1859. Still have the old Anahuac number from when I was a little kid. Um, you know, no need to change it. You know, I'm local and I want people to know that. Um, and you can also reach me email at KB, that is uh, Kilo Bravo, Safe Property Experts at Gmail. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. Just search SPE for Safe Property Experts Southeast Texas. Uh, or just search safe property experts. And then you can find our website at alarm.com slash us slash safe property experts. Well, we have so enjoyed having you on the show. And we were talking in the break a little bit about the fact that um, one of the things that you can do, one of the things that's coming um, to, to be a really popular item in Southeast Texas is an Airbnb. Um, and actually, um, Ken and I have started and we have an Airbnb and we have um, loved your ideas that you were just telling us about on some of the things that you can do with an Airbnb. So share some of the ideas, some of the things that we were talking about. Yeah, and this is something that, you know, I, I know people think about. I see it every now and then because I myself have used Airbnb, but it's not as common as I would have thought. And uh, especially when it comes to properties that you own that you have no idea who's going into them to an extent, um, it, it would be ideal. Now, I think it would behoove most owners to, to just ensure with little steps. So the first thing would be, you know, I hear this all the time. Well, I can't put cameras inside. No need. You know, no need. Uh, you don't want to invade on folks' privacy, and then you, know, you probably wouldn't have much luck renting that place out anyway if people knew there were cameras in there. But there are deadbolts, thermostats, a doorbell camera, things that you could put, or outside cameras that would allow you to, number one, just keep a view on the outside to make sure there's no damage to the property that's been done if it, you know, heaven forbid that did happen. Um, but then it, it goes even more to that to where, let's say, for example, you wanted to lock the thermostat so they couldn't, you know, change it down to 55 when they left. You can do that to where you could they, the people that walk there can go and try and change it. It won't change. Um, you know, during certain times, you there's so much control that you can have as well as a uh, deadbolts. That's one of the number one smart products that people are going to uh, acquire. Um, but the the thing that they lack most of the time is the brain behind the deadbolt. And what I mean by that is that you can install a smart lock, but it not communicate to any uh, third party app or anything unless it's connected somehow. With safe property experts, we can obviously get you uh, thermostats, deadbolts, doorbell cameras, maybe some outdoor cameras, whatever you're looking for to kind of keep an eye on your rental property or your uh, Airbnb. And go back to someone rents the property, they need to show up. You don't have to show up. You don't have to change the code. You don't have to do anything. You could remotely program a code that would work for that week that will never work again yeah. and allows the customer. And you could just send them an email. Your code is this for the week to get in. And when they're gone, it doesn't work anymore. They have no more access to that home. Yeah, that's awesome. It's very simple and very cost effective. I mean, you're talking, you know, six, seven hundred dollars for a doorbell, deadbolt, thermostat, things like that as a total, including insulation, that then just makes it a lot more secure and gives you peace of mind knowing, well, if something did happen, I'm, I should have it on video. Right. Yeah. That that is a, a great idea. I love all of that. And you're right, that is so economical and gives people an idea of um what they could do as well. And if you you haven't considered purchasing an Airbnb, let me just say, I'm shocked at how well they're doing right now. You know, after COVID, people just didn't go as much as they did as they used to, but now they are, they're going. And you know what they want? They want a place that they can have a kitchen, they can have a washer and dryer, where they can do all that they need. Even in Southeast Texas, um, many of the people who've come into um, our Airbnb have been here for either weddings or funerals or uh, between houses. So, you know, the, the opportunities are there for Southeast Texans to be able to get in on that as well. Now, we've been talking a lot about um, all things um, that have to do with safe property experts. And um, I wanted to end this show today with some of the things that you can expect here for us on the Dana Simmons Show in July. We talked initially earlier about our live open house events that are gonna be happening. Every single Saturday from noon until one, 
we will have someone at an open house event. We'll also be on Facebook Live, and, and we will show you those properties on Facebook Live, but we'll also be in person at those events. The very first one is going to be off 105 and Rains Road. It's a brand new subdivision called the Reserve. Um, the Reserve is in the Hardin-Jefferson School District. It is property lots that are about almost an acre large. Um, it's being developed by one of the most renowned developers here in Southeast Texas, Richard Gussman. Uh, Richard is going to be joining me on the show next week. He's going to talk a little bit about um, that subdivision and what his plans are and what he continues, what he's going to continue to do. You want to get in on the ground floor over there. More than half of the lots have already sold um, and there are a few more left. Drop by next week, noon to one. We're also going to have Kona Ice there and of course, First Financial Bank is going to be sponsoring the Kona Eye. So come out, get yourself a snow cone, and say hello. Then there will be several others from that point on every Saturday. Also going on this month is our Back to School, um, where we're going to be raising uh, funds and, and getting uh, all of the school supplies needed for so many of the families that are feeling the impact of the high gas prices. So if you want to participate Monday through Friday, every single day at our office, we will be accepting donations. Um, while we're open 8 to 8, if you want to call us every single day, you can get someone in my office, 409-866-8326, and someone will be able to answer that call. But if you want to drop by and drop off some of those back-to-school supplies to be able to assist other people in Southeast Texas, we'd love to be a part of that with you. We also wanted to let you know what's happening in Southeast Texas this month. Well, if you are looking for a fun day of shopping, it's Christmas in July, July 16th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can go online and find that. Then the Beaumont Children's Museum is gonna have Shark Week. Who doesn't love that? From July 25th to the 30th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, they're going to be doing all shark related activities. So it's going to be awesome. You need to attend that. Then July 22nd, classic movie night at the Jefferson Theater, 7 p.m. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. And then July 29th, The Titanic. So some really good movies coming. Uh, we have so much going on in Southeast Texas. You want to be a part of that. Um, and you can find that on Beaumont Events on Facebook. We want to say again, Kendall, thank you so much for joining us. You have been an incredible um, guest today, and you've shared so much good information. Tell everyone again, if they needed to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Um, if they're thinking about putting a security system either in their existing home or maybe in um, a new construction, how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, thank you again for having me so much, uh, you know, whether it's a small uh, uh, residential build, uh, small to medium commercial, um, you can reach us at 409-267-1859. You can also email me, kbsafepropertyexperts at gmail, and you can find us on Facebook, and uh, I welcome Facebook messages as well. You know, uh, this is 2022, I can interact in any way. Um, and that is at uh, SPE Southeast Texas or Safe Property Experts. Yeah, speaking of smartphone and all your apps, let me just tell you, we are all always so connected um, with being able to do that. And I know that's how I reached out to you. Yes, I um, went on to your Facebook and, and reached out and said, hey, would love for you to come in and join us on the show and give us some information. And I know you were very responsive and responded very quickly to me. Um, so I just want to thank you, Kendall, for, for being here. And yes, I'll have you to my house. You need to see what we can do. Absolutely. <laughs> thank get, you so much, Anna. To get us under control. Um, I also wanted to remind everyone out there that we do have a um, July newsletter that we would love to send you. Um, it has on there a July home maintenance checklist. And we can send you our preferred vendors list. Who doesn't need to know someone who can make those repairs for you? We've been in Southeast Texas a long time, and we've worked with a lot of these people, so we would love to help you um, be able to get connected with them. Um, the last little thing I wanted to talk about is why do we want independence in home buying? It's Independence Weekend. We're so excited to be celebrating that we live in the United States of America. You know, so often we get wrapped up in the negativity and the challenges that we're seeing, but what a blessing 
what um, an opportunity we have to live in this country, to be able to purchase a home um, in a place like Southeast Texas, where homes are so affordable, to where we can say, this is where I'm going to lay my roots. This is where I'm going to grow my family. This is where um, I'm going to build equity. And not just that, I'm going to build wealth. When you live in your own home, you have the opportunity to build that equity over time. As time goes on, property values increase. As you make your payments, you're not paying someone else's equity. You're paying your own equity. You're building your own wealth. So would you consider this Independence Weekend to become independent in your own personal home? If you want to do that, we'd love the opportunity to visit with you. You can go to DanaSimmonsRealEstate.com and fill out a contact form. And one of our team members who is working this weekend, I know a lot of you are on vacation and you may be listening by the lake, but we are working this weekend. So if you'd like more information, you can contact us today and I can guarantee that we will get back in touch with you today. Our email or our, our um, website is DanaSimmonsRealEstate.com. And our telephone number is 409-866-8326. This is the Dana Simmons Show. Have a great weekend.